on the back uh, of this homework, what we have are some word problems. Uh, and so they're either the GCD or LCM. And so in the first one, what we have are 20 boys and 32 girls at camp. You would like to divide the kids up into all boy groups and all girl groups, each of the same size. Find the number of kids in each group and the number of teams of boys and girls. So what I would like to do first here is probably draw uh, a picture. Right? So I'll just you know, write P for picture. And you know I have 20 boys. So 20 boys. And I have 32 girls. And what I would like to do is I'd like to divide these up. Right? I'd like to divide them up into uh, all boy and all girl groups. So the idea is you kind of want to divide these up somehow. Right? I'm not sure how yet, but divide them up some way. So I get a bunch of boy groups and a bunch of girl groups, but all the same size. You know, so I'll write this down. I want groups. So I just kind of put lines there to tell myself I want groups. But I want them to be all the same size. And then what do they want me to find? So um, find. Find what? Find the number of kids in each group. So find number kids in group. Just write down some little short statement. Uh, also, and the number of teams of boys and girls, and the number of boy teams, number of girl teams. Okay. And so now I shouldn't really have to look at the words anymore. I can just look at my picture. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come up with my plan. Right? Normally I label this equation. Right? So I have a picture and then I come up with an equation. And the equation is really my plan. Uh, and so my plan is I have to figure out do I use a GCD or do I use the LCM? Uh, and because I'm looking at the number of kids in each group, right, am I going to look for a smaller number or a larger number than 20 and 32? And hopefully you say smaller, right? If you split the kids up into groups, the number's going to be smaller, right? I mean, like it's going to be, I don't know, five boys in each group. I have no idea what it's going to be. But it's going to be smaller. If it's smaller, it's not the LCM. The least common multiple is always larger, right? The greatest common divisor is always smaller. The reason for this is a multiple of two numbers is always larger than the two, or equal to, I guess. And then a divisor is always smaller or equal to. All right, so what I need to find then is the GCD between these two numbers, and that will tell me the number of uh, kids that are going to be in each group. So I need to find the GCD between 20 uh, and 32. And so I solve my problem, right? So I make a picture, I come up with a plan, find the GCD, then I solve it. So the way I solve this is I make a tree of 20, right? So this is 2 and 10. Make my factorization tree, 2 and 5. Do the same for 32. So 2 and 16, 2 and 8, 2 and 4. I'm running out of space here. It's extending the page a little bit. 2 and 4 and uh, 2 and 2. I circle what they have in common. Right? So they have a 2 in common? Yes. They have a 2 in common. They have another 2 in common? Yes. Do they have a 5 in common? No. All right, so the GCD for this is just equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. Right, so what does this tell me? Right, this tells me that the number of kids in each group is just 4. So I'm going to split you know, each one of these right, into 4. So I'll have uh, 4 girls, 4 girls, uh, 4 girls, oops. Okay, 4 girls, 4 girls, 4 girls, 4 girls, all right, four girls. Oh, I'm going to have lots of these. All right, I'm going to have eight of them. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight girl groups. And I'm going to have uh, one, let's put a group here, two, three, four. That'll give me, okay, good. So find the number of kids in each group. Got it. All right, so how many kids are in each group? I have four kids in each group. That's what that GCD gave me in each group. For boy groups, you can see I'm going to have four, 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 four. Oops, I messed up there, didn't I? I need one more. So let me get one more. One more. Four, 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 and four, because it's going to add up to 20 total. And so I can write down here, uh, I'm going to have um, how many boy groups? Five uh, boy teams. 
And you could find this also. Uh, let's do it like this. Let's say boy teams equals to, is equal to. You could do 20 over 4, right? Be a little bit fancy. 20 over 4. That's equal to 5. And then girl teams. I can count them up just by sort of sectioning them off up here and say 8. Or I can be a little bit fancy and say it's actually 32 divided by 4, which is equal to 8. All right, so four kids in each group, five boy teams, and eight girl teams. Uh, there's a fourth step here, which is test, right? Word problems, P-E-S-T, right? Pesty word problems. To test, you just make sure it makes sense, you know, and, and really by drawing these lines, that's how I really test them. I'm kind of checking my work, you know, oh, I have four kids in each group, so four, 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 four. oh, that's 20. Four, 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 eight times, that's, yeah, 32, right? So test is kind of like, oh, check. Uh, I typically do this on an exam. You know, if I've finished uh, my exam early, I'll come back and uh, check the answer. Number five, since I already did a GCD problem, most likely this is going to be an LCM problem. So it says two business people travel to Chicago. Uh, one travels there every 18 days and the other travels every four, 24 days. If today they both uh, travel to Chicago, how many more days will it take until they both uh, travel to Chicago again on the same day? Okay, so this is an LCM problem. I mean, one way I know this is that it's going to take, you know, more than 18 days for them to hit again. It's sort of like the number should be bigger, uh, not smaller. Uh, so I know it's going to be an LCM because LCM is always bigger than the two numbers where the GCD will always be smaller. But let's draw a picture. All right, so for a picture of this, I might draw, you know, like an airport. So I'll just write airport. There's my airport. And the idea is I have one guy that's going out and coming back every 18 days. And I have another person that's coming back, going out and coming back, and it's slightly bigger, so every 24 days. And if you think about these, it's like kind of like that two little clocks, right? Like two hands on a clock, one's going slightly faster than the other. Uh, and like the minute hand or the hour hand, eventually they meet, right? Uh, at 12 uh, you know, p.m. or something. The same idea is at work here. It's like you go around, you're cycling at the speed of you know, 18 right here, and then this cycling around at a speed of like 24 or something, you know, and eventually they're going to come up and wind up the same spot after a certain number of times. And that's what we're looking for. How many times will it take for these things to arrive at the same time again? And so the next part I want to do is find an equation, right? This is my plan. And my plan is find the uh, LCM, right? the least common multiple of these two numbers, 18 and 24. To do that, I make a factorization tree of 18, so that's 2 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3. And do the same for 24, so 24 is 2 times 12, and 12 is 2 times 6, and 6 is 2 times 3. And I simply circle what they have in common, so they have uh, 2's in common, and then they also have a 3 in common, right? 3 and 3. And they don't have another 3 in common, and so this is going to be equal to now remember, it's the least common multiple. I can find any multiple, so it's simply 18 times 24. And then I divide it by the greatest common divisor. Remember, the greatest common divisor is the product of these, what they have in common, so 2 times 3, which is 6. And so this is equal to 18 divided by 6 is a 3, so 3 times 24. And 3 times 24, well, I can do it on the side here, I guess, so... I want to do it by hand, which I'm going to have to do because I don't have a calculator. 4 times 3 is 12, and 3 times 2 is 6. Add the 1, so I get 72. And so my answer, right, this is sort of my solution, I guess, down here. All right, my answer is uh, 72 days. I guess I should have written up here, you know, find number of days meet again.